Hey, what's up guys? Um, today I'm going to be showing you a plugin called Clear Lag. So Clear Lag is a really, really great plugin for um, servers that don't have much um, memory to handle and they can't handle too many entities or too many explosions at once, etc. Um, so this is great because it allows you to really um, slow down on all that crazy stuff that your players might be causing um, and it really helps you maintain a healthy server. So I have downloaded the plugin, I have put it in my plugins folder in here and I have started the server. When I started the server it automatically created a startup file and along with it a folder. So um, I want you guys to do that first. I've put a download link in the description um, and yeah just as simple as that. So once you've done that, um, you'll go into the plugin folder, you'll go into the clear lag folder, and you'll find config.yml. So let's right click that, edit with notepad plus plus or your desired um, editor, and let's take a look at what's going on here. Okay, I'm going to extend this window. Great. So you will see um, there are a lot of options in here and I'm going to go through them quickly and it shouldn't be too complicated seeing as they've actually added a lot of information um, in the comments. So at the beginning um, you see mob egg limiter um, and just like it says um, it's pretty much the max amount of mobs that how many entities can be in a radius before spawning is blocked. So that means if you have a spawn egg you right click the ground how far away do you need to be from that first spawn before it um, starts activating and starts saying hey you're spamming so that's what this means um, this is kind of something we're going to ignore um, because it seems to be worrying about certain versions I know this isn't 164 um, but still if they're they still have this here then I'm going to leave it alone um, this is the mob range, um, which is where they will spawn. Um, so this pretty much means how far away they are before they spawn within each other. This one says how long should items mobs be left on the ground. This goes by seconds. So if you drop an item on the ground, um, say an arrow, how long will it take before that arrow disappears? So there's mob live time and there's item live time, for example, between an arrow and a pig. Now this is a custom mob spawner. So these are all heavily commented um, and it's pretty straightforward. But like for example, max tries is how many times should clear lag attempt to find a safe location for the mob to spawn. So clear lag, what it's doing is it's trying to find um, areas for your mob to spawn. It's looking around, it's trying to find is this a valid location? And it will try a total of as of now 50 times, but you could change it to try say 30 times or 100 times, as many as you'd like. Um, how long, uh, how often should clear lag try to spawn mobs? So if you want it to be 30 seconds, you can set it to 30, you can do 45. It just pretty much means clear lag is going to try and spawn a mob, but you need to tell it um, the interval uh, in which it should. So if you want it to try and spawn a mob every second, which I don't suggest, you could do. Um, but let's keep it at the default 30. And this is the radius around the player. So this is this is pretty much saying don't spawn a mob within this area around the player. You can set it to 5 so they'll spawn really close, you can set it to 100 so they'll spawn really far, but let's keep it at the default 30. So from the player, it's pretty straightforward. Um, how far should mobs spawn from each other, not in blocks? Um, that one's also pretty self-explanatory. Um, it pretty much means um, if you have a mob um, how far should another one spawn from the first one? So if I have a creeper over here, and then 
um, 1,010 blocks away a skeleton will spawn. It won't spawn any closer. That's pretty much all it means. Um, and yeah, so these are all really self-explanatory, and I'm taking a long time to explain them. I'm really just saying all these things that the comments say. They're really, really self-explanatory. Just don't forget, if you actually want to use this feature, you set this to true. Let's keep it at false by default for now. Um, and then this says if you want um, the placement of too many TNT mine carts to be disabled. So by default, it says it allow you to have two mine carts within a six block radius. You can also enable this if you want this feature. And this reduces the global dispenser rate. So if I have a dispenser and it's dispensing stuff, this will reduce the amount of time the dispenser is working. Um, this reduces explosions in TNT. This is actually the most helpful one in my opinion. I would set that to true. Um, fire spread, you can do that with essentials, but it's also good to have here. Um, how many entities should one chunk be allowed to hold? So you probably already know, but Minecraft works in chunks. When it creates a world, it generates a lot of chunks around you. So you can have the option to um, set the max amount of entities that are allowed to be in a chunk at once, which is really helpful. Um, this is a spawn limiter, so if you want to enable or limit the spawn of monsters and animals, you can do that here. So don't spawn more than 300, don't spawn more than 300. Uh-huh. And so this is a TPS trigger. Um, and to be completely honest, I don't know what this does. Um, it seems like a feature that if something happens, like too much things spawn, it'll run a command. But I'll have to look into that more. Um, okay, so this is this is what happens when you um, run the command lag kill mobs. So when you run kill mobs, it will kill all the mobs except for what you put in here. So for as of now, it'll kill every mob except a villager, wolf, and horse. You can also add more, like, um, let's say I wanted to add an ocelot. So you can really put whatever you want there. It's a really helpful feature. Um, this takes care of mob spawners. So this is the max amount of things um, a mob spawner can spawn at once. Um, an item merger, it says don't use if you have craft bucket plus plus or spigot, I don't think we have craft bucket plus plus, so there you go. Um, I think this just merges items if there's a ton of them around each other um, into like one big one, which is really helpful. This is an auto removal message, so when your server is automatically taking care of lag, it will say to the server, warning, ground items will be removed in one minute. And once it has been removed, it'll say removed plus remove entities. So it'll say, for example, if it removed 10, it would say removed 10 entities. So you can make it remove at a certain interval. Um, and that's pretty much how it works. And here's what you'll set to be removed during the auto removal. So you'll notice that all of these are set to true. For example, a boat. Um, will be removed at auto removal. Um, a falling block, an experience orb, a painting. So just to let you know, this is stuff that's on the ground. These are the things that will be removed. If you have um, an arrow in a chest, the arrow is not going to be removed. If you have an arrow on the ground, it's going to be removed. Um, and that's pretty much all it means. If you have a minecart on the ground, it's going to be removed. If you have one on a rail, it's not going to be removed. And you can also set item filters. So say you want um, item ID 264 to be removed during this process. You simply delete this hashtag, and it allows you to add that. Oh, not sub. OK. Um, what should be removed during lag clear? Um, this is just the same exact thing. You set what you want to be removed when you type in the lag clear command. And 
this um, is just a check. It will fil pretty much filter the world um, and it checks for if any of these guys exist. And you can also, of course, add this to the check if you want by deleting the hashtag. And it will also check for creatures, animals, and monsters. So here's where the limits come in. This is the limit for the plugin. Um, if you want to enable limit, you set this to true. You can set the max amount of things to be limited. Um, so say I wanted a total of 4,000, but let's keep this at the default 1,000. So the check interval is, sorry about that pause. Um, so to reiterate what this means, um, it pretty much says the max amount of these things listed below. So you can only have a max amount of boats, you can only have a max amount of 1,000 boats. You can only have a max amount of 1,000 falling blocks at once. You can only have a max amount of 1,000 experience orbs, um, etc. So that's really all it means. Um, it's really straightforward and helpful, and I really like the limits, so I'm going to set that to true. And check interval is how many seconds it will take before it runs a check. So let's keep this at 60 seconds. So I'm going to save my file because we've gone through the whole thing. I'm going to close it and we're going to look here. So you'll notice that clear lag is um, trying to clear entities, but nothing's really happening yet because no one's on the server. So let's go on the server. Let me pause while getting on. Okay, um, and we are back. So I'm on my server and I'm going to quickly turn off some sound because that is too loud. And you'll notice that there are some mobs here spawned for me, which is good. So I can show you some examples. So if I wanted to clear these entities, I can type slash lag clear. And it says just removed 14 entities. So that doesn't necessarily mean um, enemies. Those um, can be really anything. So let's try that again. So you'll notice that when I dropped this, oh my god, okay, dropped this and this and this and this, and I type lag clear, it clears these. Because these aren't necessarily entities, these are monsters. So if I type slash lag um, kill mobs, you'll see that all of these mobs have been removed. And of course, they'll start spawning again soon, but not till a couple of seconds later. I can also, um, let's see, what's some other commands? So there's a lag check command, so slash lag check. You'll see that there's a total of 160 mobs alive, and that pretty much means that, well, just its name, there's 160 mobs alive. And if that sounds like too much for you, you can just type in that command again, and it will kill them. Now, there's really cool chunk management in the clear lag. For example, lag um, chunk will locate certain chunks with possibly too much lag going on. And that's really helpful because sometimes chunks are laggier than others, and you might need to unload them if they're not um, good chunks. So the way you unload a chunk is you type slash lag unload chunk. So, oh, oops, unload chunks with an S. So this pretty much means it'll unload chunks that aren't needed, which is really helpful if you're having a laggy server for people who um, are just standing there not doing anything. This command is very helpful. Um, and to be honest, that's really it. I'll put the entire command list in the description, and I will see you in the next video.